What's up, guys and gals? My name's Sean. If you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. So what's up, y'all? Good to see you back. Boy, we got a good one today. Now I got a friend named Mickey. He's a killer guitar player, man. He plays all kind of jazz and blues and country, southern rock, you name it. Mickey can play just about anything. And we know all the same people. If you look on Facebook, all of our friends are the same people. And these are local people. All the musicians you see on my Facebook, most of them are local. So when Mickey called me up and told me he found this Gibson SG that needed some loving, I said, bring it over, let me look at it. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was pretty horrified when he showed me this. Yeah, this guy's been down through there, ain't he? <laughs> but <laughs> there's no question it's a real Gibson. That's not the question here. We already know it is. I would like to know when it was made, if you guys can tell me that. Now that truss rod cover ain't original for sure. It's got a whole bunch of wacky stuff going on. Wow, look at what's going on with that pickup right there. Looks like the cover's coming off of it. It's all sunken in. Look. Now I'm going to tell you right now. I can't paint any better than this guy did. <laughs> that's why I don't paint guitars. But I can do something else. And that's what we're going to do to this thing. We're going to take it apart and check it out. Try to get rid of this ugly nightmare that's going on with it. And make it a beautiful, respectable Gibson SG again. Now, like I said, if you guys know when this thing was made, put it in the comments. Man, that thing looks rough, don't it? Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I can make it look brand new. Once again, you're at Scar My Guitar. But I bet you I can make it look and play better than that. So that's going to be enough flip-flapping. Let's make it happen. Somebody put some Wilkinson tuners on this beautiful Gibson. But that don't surprise me, looking at all the other crap that's been done to it. The screws ain't even in there straight. They're stripped out. Now that screw head's stripped out, so I'm just going to use these nines to back it out. It's going to be a slow process, but it'll work. see it's coming out it's also bent all crazy All right, let's check out the bridge. Oh, he's locked on there. Huh. Look at that. Yeah, that clip's not right, though. See it? It's messed up. Now, look at this. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Somebody soldered over Epi and left the phone. But that thing wouldn't come off there because it's messed up. We'll fix that. We just need to bend this back where it goes. Somewhere around there. Let's look at the actual bridge. That was the tailpiece. I don't know if you can make that out, but it looks like a PW to me. But, whatever. It's a good bridge. We'll use it. Let's go ahead and pop this pit guard off. Yeah, some of those pit guard screws are on the verge of being stripped out. We'll put some new screws in it when we put it back together. Let's get these out of the way. Gibson USA. And no clue what that one is. This is the one that's sinking out of the casing though. Try to fix that. Let's take the control cavity off so we can unsolder the pickup wires. Let 
Wow. Lots of nice Gibson stuff in this guy. Woo, gig, 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 gig. I only have to unsolder three little wires because this has plug and play for the, I guess that's going to be the neck pickup. This was all plug and play right here. Check it out. Sweet. I'm going to take these two ground wires off. And then the lead wire. That's it. Freaking knobs are on there good. It's like some Chinese knobs somebody stuffed on them. American pots. That guy's embedded in the paint. No washer. Goo all over it. You see this little pin right here? That's for the ground wire for the bridge. Just pull that right out of there like that. Boom. Look what I unveiled. Headstock brake. <laughs> this guitar has a headstock brake. That's why they painted it. Look at that. Primer. All cleaned up. Contour's pretty again. Not left some ugly black in the wood in some spots, but that might look cool once we get done doing what I'm about to do. It's definitely gonna need some fret work before this is over. Yeah, contours came back nice, man. I'm pretty happy with this. But that's two different kinds of mahogany. The neck and the body are it's quite easy to see. But up here where we got this hickey. I can't do what I'm going to do, so i got to do a little painting there. Let's do it. It 
Let's bring this baby back to life. Well, we made it. We're here at the gandering stage. But it still needs some buffing done. So let's get on it. Thinking that's gonna be good enough. Just cause this guitar got a little refinished job doesn't mean it gets treated any differently than any other one. So the first thing we start with, seeing if the next level. And it's not. Look at that. Look at the bow in that thing. Wow. Look how bad that is. Alright, let's uh adjust it. Give it a little tweak and see what happens. Need to go that way. Well, at least we're touching a little bit down here. Wow, that's going to be much better. All right, let's check these frets. They're level. Just got a bunch of dents in them. 
Got a little rock there. But I already know I'm going to do this a fret job, so let's do it. This guy's a 10 inch radius. I don't have a 10 inch radius block. So we'll use a leveling beam. Really see what that leveling beam did to those frets with just those few swipes. You see it? Let's get them cleaned up. You gotta love how it leaves all the little metal around the frets as you're doing each one. So you know you did a good job. Polish them up real good. I know we got to scrape the fretboard. Bring him back to life. Put some oil on him. Wow, what nice looking rosewood, huh? Thing looks great, don't it? Now let's gawk at it for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I knew there was a beauty laying under there. You guys did too. Look at that thing. Got a new life. Alright, let's put this thing together. Yeah, them Wilkinsons ain't going back on this beauty. Since we don't have Gibson tuners to put on it, we'll put some Grovers on it. Just left the serial number alone. I didn't want to do nothing to harm it. Or the Made in USA 2008. Now remember we saw this pickup, it's all sunken in. It's a real easy fix. All we gotta do is heat this solder up. We should be able to push it into the case. Now that I got it pushed in, I need to put some solder back there so it'll stay. That ought to hold him. Put some in all the corners. He's there now. Looks good. Now I was going to change these pickups, but Mickey said he really likes them. So let's just keep him with what he's got. Mickey hates that truss rod cover. Asked me to do something with it. So I say, me and you try something. What do you say? I mean, let's just give it a try. Man, it's so cool. Let's see what we got. I'm digging it.
told you in the beginning, we'll be putting some new screws in this baby. Now that we got all the screws on it, let's clean this pit guard off the best we can. Pickups off. I ain't gonna lie, she's looking pretty righteous already. Let's just pop this beauty right back in. Real simply. Push it on in there good. That bent switch is cool, ain't it? I love it. Now this thing didn't have a washer on it, but we are going to put one on it. I always like to put one in first so it holds the whole thing. I'm going to put these two right back where they were. I'm going to try to use the same solder. Since there's so much of it already there. Nice and tight. And then this guy. Back onto the lead of the pot. Again, try to use the same solder. We ain't got a whole bunch of it piling up on there. Looks like success to me. Yeah, that plastic for the back plate's still a little ugly. But we can't do nothing about that. Yeah, I gotta tell you, man. Those new screws sure do make this thing look better. pretty happy with the way this guy turned out I'm telling you right now <laughs> man look at this thing we managed to save the headstock a little bit gosh huh it doesn't look like the same guitar does it let's play it a little unplugged All right, let's turn it up. All right, check it out. My friend Mickey is coming over here to pick it up right now. Let's get him in here, make him close his eyes, and hand it to him. Now, Mickey has not seen this guitar. I'm going to hand it to him now. Play it with your eyes closed. Don't open your eyes. No, this ain't my guitar. Bro, that's your guitar. I know what my guitar feels like. No, this ain't my guitar. No. Bro, that is your guitar. Open your eyes. No, this ain't my guitar. My guitar doesn't look like this. It is your guitar, bro. Look. Really? That is your guitar. That's my guitar. <laughs> it's your guitar. That's my guitar. I can't believe it. <laughs> it doesn't look the same. It doesn't feel the same. It don't play the same. No. Big of a difference, is it? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Well, let me get your strap and you can play on something. Okay, sounds good.
Guys, I'll tell you, this is amazing. The transformation from when I brought it in here to what it is now, I cannot believe it's the same instrument. I brought in an old beater guitar, had about 18 coats of paint on it, had all the wood showing through it. It's just like a brand new guitar. It looks like a brand The only way I can tell is it has the same serial number. Other than that, it's a whole new guitar. It's a whole new beast. Bro, we got in this video, you having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you I had a good one for you, didn't I? And you know I really appreciate you watching, right? But until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar.